Hello, hello. My name's Dan, and this is Something in the Water by Sean Noonan. It's another entry to the E1M1 game jam. Here's the prologue. I'm just going to start reading. Uh, you awake alone in a hospital bed. Thoughts flood your mind to the crash that put you there. Did your brother Jack survive? Why did that ambulance drive straight into you? Looking around the room, you see a note. It's from Jack. The residents of Reaverport have turned crazed and hostile. They say that there was something in the water. To survive, you must avoid the crazed locals, find a weapon, and escape. These are the controls. Yada yada yada. This was released in uh, June of 2021. Sam, I'm sorry I left you alone. It wasn't my fault. You were out cold. I had to draw them away. The whole town's gone to hell. They say there was something in the water. If you see medical staff, do yourself a favor. Run. A couple of us are heading to the basement to escape. If you want to follow us, you'll need an elevator key from the doctor's office. You'll need a weapon, too. Some of the other patients didn't make it through reception. It was a real bloodbath in there before the building was locked down. They likely dropped weapons, so I checked there first. I really hope you see this. And it's signed Jack. Okay, so here we are. We've woken up in a hospital. We've got to find our brother. Uh, they went to the basement. Okay, we're immediately attacked by hospital staff. There's a corpse here. Yep, he's still after us. Now, the enemies in this game are super deadly. It's kind of a hard game until you get used to it. As you can see, we don't have a weapon. So the beginning here is unique in that it's a mad dash to find something to protect ourselves with. Now here I got cornered, and that's the end for me. So let's try again. I'll uh, just skip this. Over here I wanted to show you... Okay, here's the exit. But like the note said, we need to find an elevator key first. The other thing that makes this game tough is the enemies are, for the most part, silent. You won't even know they're there until you see your uh, health going down. Here I'm still looking for a weapon of some sort. Okay, that medicine will heal us, but I think we're done for. Alright. Third time's the charm. One thing that's going to help us out a lot is the map. Uh, we're the red dot, and the green dot is that elevator we saw. The exit. Now, for whatever reason, the map is backwards, but I'm still going to use it because it's still super helpful. It's backwards because of the game engine, I think. Okay, first things first, let's go find a weapon. We're heading to the reception area. We've got to run past all these guys. Since they're really quiet, you have to keep looking around and stay aware of your uh, surroundings. Alright, now we have a knife. It kind of looks like a box cutter. Next up is the doctor's office. What's kind of cool is they can easily sneak up on you and it's a jump scare, man. <laughs> like, they'll suddenly be up on you. I mean, they made me jump several times. Also, I love that there's a thunderstorm raging outside. That adds kind of a, a cool ambiance. Okay, now we found the key. Now it's just a, a matter of getting to the elevator alive. <laughs> this game makes you really paranoid about 
uh, anything behind you. Okay, that's area one. Now remember, we're supposed to meet our brother and the other survivors in the basement. Sam, if you're able to read this, then you made it to the basement and you're not sick. There's still hope. One of our group has a shotgun, and they know an escape route. Seeing as you've made it this far, you can make your way to the maintenance shaft. That'll lead you to the sewers. It stinks, it's dark, but it's our only way out. We'll wait for as long as we can, but if we see or hear another group, then we'll have to move. If that happens, I'll leave another note. As far as we can tell, the sick don't read. One step closer to freedom. Jack. Okay, this game, by the way, is loosely based on an old George Romero movie. It was called The Crazies, and it was made in 1973. They remade it in uh, 2010. I've seen both, and they're both pretty good. Okay, we got a new enemy. These guys are tougher. They're carrying crowbars or pipes or something. It makes me think they're not hospital staff, but maybe they're maintenance workers or survivors who got sick. These enemies really pack a punch. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? Well, now we have to find the shotgun. Uh, the shotgun is awesome for obvious reasons. Uh, we won't have to get near them to kill them. That'll make things a lot easier. Oh my god, it's so scary because you can't hear them. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, those are shells, but it's blocked. Another medicine. I was trying to see if I could get him through the fence. Okay, here we go. Now, I suppose I could conserve ammo by just knifing the guys. Okay, our next objective is to find the maintenance shaft. Remember, that'll take us into the sewers, uh, where the other survivors went. You have to equip the weapon in order to pick up its ammo. Now, this whole time, we're supposed to be asking ourselves, why is this happening? What's gotten into these people? Well, it's kind of the title of the game. I don't know if the madness is spread by a virus or something. Here I'm just making sure to explore every nook and cranny. I don't want to miss anything. Okay, we heard a door open. Is that everybody? Yeah, I think we have to go down this way. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, these guys have shotguns too, and it's super hard to uh, uh, dodge the pellets. So we have to make sure to always take them out quickly. There's also a kind of a secret I wanted to show you. I think it's on this level. 
Yeah, here it is. It's an Easter Island statue. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. Those pellets hit us. It's so hard to avoid them. But did you see? They were wearing hazmat suits. Oh my god. Okay, I think that's it. Now we just go into the hatch. Sam, sewers were a bad idea. Only three of us left now. Heading topside. Jay. Okay, so now we have to make it to the end of the sewer system to reach the outside. I'm being super careful because... Who knows what the game will throw at us now. We don't see anyone. It's remarkably eerie. I'm just afraid they're- oh my god. I'm just afraid they're gonna come up behind me like that. <laughs> Okay, that just goes back there. Oh my god, that guy was ferocious. <laughs> so glad we got a shotgun in this game. <laughs> Okay, it's time to advance. Jesus Christ, man. I might cut out some of this. You gotta stay on your toes with all these corners around here. Okay, here we discover something- oh wait. There's a shotgun guy down there. Dang, these guys are sneaky. Okay, now, these barrels won't hurt us, but... Yeah, I guess they're leaking radiation into the water. People are drinking it from their faucets, and... Uh, that's what's causing all the trouble. That's what's causing the madness. 
Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. There it is. First, I need to go grab that medicine back there. Okay, that that ladder uh, leads us to a manhole cover, and next up, uh, we're going to be out on the city streets. Okay, this is just a bloody note. It just says our name on it. That's pretty disturbing. Okay, now we're up top. This is the final area of the game, guys. And as you can see, it's pretty small. A blood trail leads that way, but first, let's check this other direction over here. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Now check this out. There are two other bodies, making a total of three. Didn't that one note say there were three of them left? So I guess that was our brother that we just killed. Like, he had succumbed to the disease or the madness. Kind of a sad little twist there at the end. But yeah, what did you think? I thought this game was pretty awesome and very well done. Like I said, at first I was like, oh my god, this is so hard. But no, not really. I mean, once you get the shotgun, and once you get used to them sneaking up on you, it gets a lot easier. Well, alright folks, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers, you guys are awesome. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.